entirely sure. Uh, the, 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 nine, the 911 phone traffic was, was garbled and very confusing. Uh, we had several possible addresses. Initially, we were heading uh, units to Highland Court, which is a completely different neighborhood. Uh, and then we figured out uh, from cell phone tracking and things like that that this was the address we needed to be at. Uh, during the course of trying to locate this scene, we found a car that had been reported to leave the scene that was stopped in the area of 10th and Jackson. And in that car, we found a young woman who had a gunshot wound or wounds, I, I don't know which. Um, and she's en route to the hospital, so we, we have the vehicle, we have a, a gunshot victim that we don't know the circumstances of how she got shot. And we're holding this scene uh, in anticipation of we might need a search warrant to, to continue our investigation. And what led you here? Uh, the 911 calls. 911, like I say, initially things were very confused. We were told some more than one address. Uh, I believe the callers were confused about where they were at. We were told uh, uh, Highland, which there's a Highland Court, that's a street, and then we also have Highland Townhome, so we kind of had to figure out where we needed to be. It's all a bit confusing. Um... Very much so, which is why, uh, you know, very preliminary information now, and then we, we're going to have to get to the bottom of, of what happened. Up the road, you said the young man trying to dispose of a weapon. Yeah, we we did catch you. We did catch a young man uh, trying to dispose of a firearm, uh, or appeared to be trying to dispose of a firearm up the block. Uh, took him into custody. Uh, took the weapon into custody as well. And we're we're still trying to figure out, you know, what the connection is between the, all, all the parties involved.